Hello, can you see my blue hair? I don't know if you can, but it's there. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Callie here, otherwise known as my face story. And today, I thought we could do an unboxing. I know, my channel is just unboxings now and uh, hauls. Not too shabby. I've gotten a lot of packages recently. Some of them have already been opened, but I haven't looked at them. Um, they were opened by my husband to see if they were for me or him. Obviously it's for me. Uh, <laughs> always, 100 times out of 10 times for me. Let's do an unboxing. Let's see all the free shit I got <laughs> from them. It's from Makeup Forever. And it looks like it's foundation. So excited to stock you with our best styling foundation. Available in 50 shades. That's awesome. We love a diverse beauty group, a diverse beauty range, a diverse shade range. Love it. The same lightweight natural finish now for even more skin tones. Good. Should be. Should have always been that way. So, huh. Yeah, I've never tried this, but it looks like this. Makeup Forever. And they sent me, it looks like three different shades. Um, ooh. Okay, I think that was just... I don't think it's supposed to be like that. It's like all liquid and like oil. Yikes, brother. Yikes, brother. What is my camera doing? Do you see that? I need to get out of the sunlight, brother. I'm a day walker ginger, brother. All right, brother, I think this is a little bit better back here. We'll just we'll sit back here. Um, yeah, so I got this makeup forever. And for some reason, oh, there we go. So now it's normal. It came out like really oily at first. This seems like it's more of a lightweight kind of skin finish. I could be wrong. I'll probably look it up and I'll say full, full coverage. But uh, <laughs> thank you, Makeup Forever. Thank you to everyone who sent me shit and to stuff to try out. Um, I very much appreciate it and uh, it's really cool. Thank you. This is the Fenty Brow, which I've actually been using this. I'm, I think, in the shade like medium brown or something. I used it today. Um, I really like brows, even if I'm not wearing full makeup like this. I always like to do kind of like a natural brow just with like bare face. So this is cool. I'll have to do a giveaway because there's no way I can wear all these shades. Thanks, Sephora. Sephora. This one looks like it's from Laura. They keep sending me stuff and I still don't know how to pronounce it. Laura Mercier. Mercier. Also, if I'm screaming, it's because I'm sick and uh, I can't hear anything. I'm screaming because I like to hear my voice. Yeah. Secret to Effortless Skin, Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight. Oh, it's a baked powder highlight. Oh, they sent, okay, so they actually says on here what they sent me. It's for your summer glow, to extend your summer glow, because you know we're heading into fall. So we're going from summer glow to fall looking like a hoe. No, I mean, probably not, <laughs> probably not that, but uh, looking a little crusty, dusty, a little worse for wear. Am I right, ladies? 80. Glow Mask, Hydrating Primer, Face Illuminator, Matte Radiance Powder, uh, Mystic Gold Metallic Top Highlight, and Translucent Setting Powder. Thank you, Laura Mercier, Mercier, Merci, Mercier. Um, here's everything. Ooh. And I'm really excited to try the Glow Mask. Anything that's a mask, of course. Infusion of Rose. So it's a rose gold mask? Is it actually rose gold on? Oh my god. That would be... <laughs> Always, every time. There's actually... It looks like there's a lot of makeup. And um, there's someone who does a lot of skincare. Very surprising to me. Oh! No, it's just like a white, white mask. But infused with rose gold, so that's cool. Thank you! Thank you so much! Mercier group. Hopefully it's not... Uh, the same thing because sometimes companies accidentally send me the same thing over and over and over and over and I'm like well am I supposed to do all this stuff and then so I just have to give it to you guys or my family and I'm like please stop saying me same thing 200 times thank you oh okay <laughs> oh this one's in a cute little box don't you love and also, something's wrong with my phone. I'm filming on my phone because I'm lazy. I don't want to edit on my camera. But something is wrong with my phone. And uh, you see that? How it's glowing? I think there's like a scratch in my lens. I know there's light here. But like whenever that happens, there's like a scratch. Kelly Kushner, SS. Sephora Squad. Handwritten note. 
very fresh, thank you. Inspire a change, support a cause close to the founder's heart. We're thrilled to share a limited edition palette of natural face and cheat to support the Ovarian Cancer Fund from Laura Mercier. That's so cool. Yes, and raising awareness um, while creating beautiful artistry. Makeup, supporting cancer, great, that's amazing. It says, to show us the look you created, I've used this palette, tag Laura Mercier to spread awareness of the cause. I love that. I always <clears throat> try to support, I'll definitely wear this, thank you so much for the ovarian cancer fund. I'll definitely be sharing and supporting this. Um, I always try to, you know, anything with a cause, especially like cancer, because I don't know if you guys know, but when I was very little in like fourth grade, I had cancer in my salivary gland. So that is something um, that's also very close to me. My grandma had breast cancer and uh, yeah, very cool that they're doing that. And it's, I'll show you the palette that comes with that using to support the cells. Let's see. Ovarian, it says on there, Ovarian Cancer Fund. That's so cool. So this is a, oh, it's really pretty. It's a face and cheek palette. Oh, it's really pretty. This is really nice. It's got like this pink sparkle and the gold. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Lots of different shades. Thank you so much. This is really cool of you and I'm definitely gonna be sharing this. Yeah, that's how it was. Okay, so this next one, I can't really hide because it's, it just came like this and I think that it, maybe it was sent to the wrong person because I, I've i never been on their PR list before, but this is very exciting. Um, it's from Urban Decay and it's the new Naked palette. I have no clue. Uh, people are just tossing around addresses now. Thank you for sending me this, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't even know. It's called Spoil Me Honey, and it's different golden shades, which is great because I wear a lot of like nudes and natural, which I wouldn't think so today because I'm wearing this blue, but yeah, and their eyeshadow primer cushion. Let's look at this palette. This is really exciting. Again, might not have sent it to the right person, but uh, I appreciate the kind gesture. Um, Oh, okay, so this comes out September 13th. Wait, oh, the launch, hold on. I gotta read it first before I should start talking. It's officially in store on September 26th, but you can get it online before that, starting on the 13th and then the 23rd. So, in store on the 26th. Let's look at this Naked Honey palette. Jeez Louise. Wow, thanks guys. You know, like the first eyeshadow palette I ever got was the Naked palette, like the expensive eyeshadow palette, the Naked and then like the rose gold Naked palette. So this is really full, full 360 moment, very cool. Um, it's like gold and, ooh, looks all <laughs> cute. Um, oh, yeah, this is really good, like neutrals. I'll definitely be wearing this a lot, especially in fall. Um, you can see it. It reminds me a lot of their first one, but more like yellowy and reddish brown. I like these colors a lot. Very cool. Thank you, Urban Decay. This is awesome. Um, and the primer potion. I'm not a huge eyeshadow primer like fan, but you know what? I'll give it a try. We'll see if it makes a difference. Is the pharmacy very cherry clean? And I love their very, love their very green clean and very cherry clean is a limited edition scent. So I actually bought this for myself already while I was at Sephora. I've been using it. I think I'm gonna give this one away. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm definitely, yeah, I'm gonna give this one away because I already have one and it's limited edition. So I want someone else to try it. I like it. I think it's really nice. And the cherry scent, honestly, a little bit kind of reminds me of cough syrup, just a little bit. But, um, you know, like the kind that you used to choke down when you were a kid and you were sick. But besides that, it's good. I think I prefer green clean, honestly, but it's good. Okay, next thing. What is this? Next! Oh, this is from Ren. And I've actually seen my friend Liz use this. Pretty proud 
pretty progress 23 if you guys don't follow her you should um, I've seen my friend Liz use this and it's called the clear calm non-drying acne treatment here's the acne treatment gel and is this a face wash because I just ran out of my face wash clarifying clay cleanser oh my god yes I'm definitely going to try this out like tonight because I ran out of my face wash that I always use the pursuit beauty one and uh Liz has raved about this and about this so I definitely want to try these out and see salicylic acid love salicylic acid what does this one have in it this is a clay cleanser um what are the what are the ingredients are so and this cleanser kaolin is listed as the second ingredient next to water which is really awesome because i don't know if you guys know this but when you're reading ingredients it goes from most saturated like the most percentage ingredient to the least um so definitely 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 the fact that it has water and then clay is very good it looks like it also has zinc in here uh, willow bark extract which is a natural salicylic acid uh, lactic acid a lot of good things actually yeah I'm so excited to try this thank you so much Ren and I've heard good things from estheticians about this brand too I just trust estheticians and yes gonna try it the next thing that we have I took the little packing slip out This is from Artiste. It's a brush set, like face brush. Do you guys remember when these were a huge trend and people would do their makeup with them? I haven't seen these in forever, but I'm really excited to try these. It looks like they have like some makeup. What is this? Brush cleaning pad. That's awesome. Definitely big. Number one tip to keep your brushes and your beauty blenders clean so that you don't break out. Um, everything makes me break out though, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, I remember when these were a huge trend and I would watch the videos and be like, oh, those are so cool. So. I'm gonna try them out and see if there's any difference. Ooh, do you see that spit between this and a beauty blender? Hello. I'm re recording the outro while I'm editing because I'm a doof and I goofed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That's all I have. That's all. That's all I have to say. Don't forget. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.